testified at 11 years old. Were you thinking about it as abuse then? Did you know you were being abused and you were just defending Michael? W when did you start to know that it was abuse? Yeah, at, at that point, um, you know, when the abuse started and when I was 11, even when I was 22 and later, um, I had no, I had no understanding that what Michael did to me sexually was abuse. Um, I had no concept of it being that. When I was 11. I know he wouldn't do anything like that. Has he ever tried to do anything with you that would even be considered questionable? No, nothing. Nothing at all has never touched you? Mm -mm. Have you ever seen Michael naked? No. And even when I was 22. You're telling us nothing happened, is that right? Yes. All right. What you're really telling us is nothing happened while you were awake. Isn't that true? I'm telling you that nothing ever happened. Mr. Robson, when you were asleep, you wouldn't have known what had happened, particularly at age seven, would you have? I would think something like that would wake me up. And later... What's the most misunderstood thing about Michael Jackson, do you think? That you know him? Um, Probably a number of things. You know. that, I don't know that anybody that lives that life is not going to be your average dude. <laughs> you know what I mean? In the simple ways, I mean, yeah. you know, you live that there's you live that kind of life and that sort of fame from five years old. You're not going to go about your every day like everybody else because you've never lived a life like everybody else. So how would you know how to do that? Exactly. So and I think people take those simple things and turn them into something, you know, 10 times, 100 times more strange than they are. One of the things I noticed about you, and, I, and this goes back to why I said you were a stand-up guy, um, we covered the trial, and you were one of the few people to stick up for him. Mm -hmm. and, and why do you think that was, and why was it important for you to stick up for him? Because he's always been a friend to me. That's what you do for friends, you tell the truth. You know? um, I, had no, I had no understanding that what Michael did to me sexually was abuse. You know, as soon as the cop started asking me these questions, the first thing that came to mind for me was everything that Michael started saying to me when I was seven. You know, if anyone ever found out that we were doing any of these sort of things, these sexual things, that he and I would go to jail for the rest of our lives. It was terrifying. 